Britain's largest warship, HMS Prince of Wales, recently concluded a month of rigorous trials involving the F-35B Lightning stealth fighter off the east coast of the United States. The aim was to develop ways of expanding carrier operation capabilities, focusing, among other things, on the F-35's launch and landing procedures in adverse weather conditions. The trials were known as DT-3, Development Test, Phase 3, with Phases 1 and 2 having been conducted aboard HMS Prince of Wales' sister ship, HMS Queen Elizabeth. DT-3 facilitated the collection of essential data regarding the F-35B's operational clearances, working towards a quicker turnaround for successive sorties. How many jets were involved? The trials involved two F-35Bs, one of the world's most advanced warplanes. The F-35s from the U.S.-based. Integrated test force were flown by U.S. Marine Corps pilots, taking off from and landing on the flight deck of HMS Prince of Wales carrying different payloads, including a full load of dummy ordnance. How many landings did the F-35s make? 60 ship-borne rolling vertical landings, with 10 at night. 20 backwards landings, 10 conducted at night. Nearly 150 takeoffs in various weather conditions and sea states. Commander Jamie Elliott, who planned and oversaw the trials, said all of the test takeoffs will inform any future decisions about F-35B operational clearance to take off and land heavier operate in heavier sea states, and turn the jets around faster for more sorties. How many personnel were involved? A team of around 180 people supported the trials. I was proud of how the team collectively performed from day one, said Andrew Mock, a chief test engineer at Pax River, the U.S. Air Base, which is home to the F-35 Integrated Test Force. Team members recognized the value of our mission, appreciated the importance of this detachment, and committed to the hard work to ensure we accomplish safe, secure, and efficient flight tests aboard the UK's newest aircraft carrier. How long were the trials? The intensive trials lasted for weeks and involved training and data gathering off the east coast of the United States. The last four weeks at sea have been the busiest HMS Prince of Wales has ever seen, said the commanding officer, Captain Richard Hewitt. The test points achieved will not only improve UK F-35B operations, but those of our F-35B program partners and allies as well. How long will it take to process the collected data? It will take several months for experts on both sides of the Atlantic to analyze the data. Significant volumes of data were gathered throughout the trials, prompting Cap Hewitt to note, the past four weeks at sea have marked the most active period in the history of HMS Prince of Wales. When will HMS Prince of Wales return home? HMS Prince of Wales will continue additional aviation trials in the United States which will involve training with the U.S. Marine Corps and the exploration of unmanned aircraft. Integration. The carrier will be returning to home shores before Christmas.